It is indeed a great pleasure for me to be associated with this first uh, council of this movement, very significant movement, uh, which has been an initiated by ECRISAT and involves a great number of stakeholders uh, in Africa and Asia, which essentially is trying to promote uh, some key crops that have been neglected over the years uh, against the background of uh, bigger focus on crops like uh, rice and uh, maize. And uh, this movement essentially is promoting crops like uh, millet, sorghum, and uh, some important grain legumes, which are very important crops in the Sahel and countries in West and Central Africa. And uh, these are very nutritious crops. Uh, it's the belief of, of CORAF and the association that if, this, if the production of these crops is increased, and uh, which essentially means that there must be increased research efforts in improving the crop because the yields are very low, if this is done and uh, there is sufficient demand, and uh, that is essentially happening, now because we know of the growing interest, the growing concern for nutrition in developed countries, uh, we believe uh, an increase in the production of these crops that have high nutritious value will command uh, demand from these, these, these uh, countries. And if this demand increases, it means uh, it's an opportunity for farmers in this region to increase their production, which means they will be having um, more, more, more income. And uh, the fact that reliance on these crops gives farmers a, a, a greater flexibility in coping with uh, the effects of climate change, these, these crops are resilient and uh, they are also very environmental friendly. Their carbon uh, footprint is, is relatively smaller compared to these bigger crops. We feel that it's, it's, it's my opinion that uh, if the production and promotion of these crops is, is, is pursued, uh, a whole lot of stakeholders will be able to benefit, including the farmers, uh, people who are nutrition sensitive, as well as the environment.